Hi, it's John. It's the uh, 3rd of August and I'm getting blackberries. Now, um, I've got my cutters, leather gloves and uh, small cutters. And what I'm doing is, as I'm going through, is cutting the, some of the runners back so I'm getting in the, some of the stinging nettles uh, so that I can get into the, um, into the harvest. Now, in my opinion, blackberry wine is the best wine that I've ever made. Uh, it's the best wine I've ever tasted, even commercial wines. It is absolutely gorgeous. The nectar of the gods. And if you haven't ever tried it, um, see if you can get yourself a bottle. You might not be able to get it from your um, uh, supermarket, but you might be able to get it from uh, some health food shop or something. It won't be as good as what I make, mind, because it'll be more diluted down. But uh, I mean, it, last year, I hope we can do it again, but it was just absolutely fantastic. It was gorgeous. Um, and what's, what's nice about it is, of course, you don't get the pips, which spoils like blackberry jam or blackberry pie. And also, it's not very acid. It's sort of quite a smooth wine. And um, Unless you've tried it, you can't appreciate it. And I'd encourage anybody to try it, as long as you're not a recovering alcoholic, that is. And of course, they're better when they're absolutely ripe. Um, I was thinking back to the olden days before they had refined sugar. You know, and they must have waited till fruit was absolutely ripe before they, uh, before they picked it to get the sugar content to ferment the um, f ferment the fruit. Uh, I haven't got my gloves now, um, and, and uh, it'd be very interesting to know how they used to do it in years gone by, wouldn't it? One thing that I find interesting when they're doing the Victorian farm or something like that on telly. They always have the still room. Um, presumably that's where they used to distill stuff and probably make a lot of the wines and things. Um, and, and the potions and, and what they thought was medicines. A bit of brandy for your stomach. Um, of course brandy is made from apples, out from cider. So all you've got to do is distill cider to get, to get brandy. But the strange thing is that distilling is still against the law. You're not allowed to distill stuff in the UK. Um, so uh, they never go into it very deeply on, on the Victorian farm and things about the distill, distilling room. Now I don't know how much I'm going to be able to reproduce the same recipe as what I used last year for making the blackberry wine. Um, I think I did do a video of it so I might be able to find some of it from there but I don't think it will necessarily matter if it's slightly different. Now what I've been using for the um, damson wine I've been making just recently is the champagne yeast because uh, champagne, I mean, I don't know whether you've ever tasted, well, obviously everybody's tasted, most people have tasted champagne, but it's something which lifts you very quickly, sort of lifts your head. It's a very light yeast, and, and it gives you that uplift, um, which is what you always need, isn't it? And, I mean, normal champagne is fairly a fairly short-lived effect. Um, but this blackberry wine that I made last year, you know, if you think, if you have something really, really good, then it changes your life, doesn't it? Because you've, you've had that thing which was really, really good and, and you feel fulfilled in a way, you know, so you somehow know what that is like. And um, even if the next lot of blackberry wine doesn't turn out so well, you know, you could say, oh, remember that blackberry wine we had in 2013? That was just out of this world. That was the nectar of the gods. And, uh, you know, even if, even if the next lot doesn't live up to it. 
um, won't necessarily matter. Right, bye for now.